welcome back to another cruising with Corey. We are here in our normal environment, in our automobile, doing automobile things, driving on the roadway. And for the first time in a long time, I turned Spark on and I got a pretty decent offer. I'm not gonna say good because it's four miles and I like, but it's pretty decent. Uh, we're gonna start the day off with $31.12 for 12.4 miles. Uh, which sounds like a lot, but the final destination is only about five miles away from the store, so it's really not um, that bad. Ah! I just found the reason why nobody dug it. Look at here. It's still picking. So that's why a good order was on the screen because it wasn't done yet. So that just popped my balloon so very quickly because I thought I actually had a good day going, but we're gonna be playing the Walmart behind game today. So, uh, well, we're still 10 minutes away from the store. So maybe uh, in these next 10 minutes, they'll finish picking it. Um, it's 9.42 now. I say we hold on to this till 10. And if by 10 o'clock it's not done being picked, then I say we drop it and maybe a shop will come up. So um, none of that was pre-recorded. I just accepted that, mo that order in the moment and I just found that out together. So I envy you guys out there who have Walmarts that are always on time. Uh, like, you know, a lot of the store, the people I watch that do Spark, like uh, Mushi Moo and Chuck and um, other guys, like I, I never see them have the problems that my Walmart has with delays at curbside and orders not being picked. Like we have certain days of the week that you know don't take a curbside. Um, our curbside literally falls to shambles 80% of the time. But a lot of you guys seem to have really good Walmarts, but whatever, let's keep driving and let's hope for the best. All right, the timing is impeccable. We just get to Walmart and it is now packing up. So, oh, my buddy Alyssa, I think she has a rant. Is it a rant you want to make public on YouTube to my two followers? Yes, I am pissed when Spark doesn't load and I have to use my AC for 10 straight minutes in order to get offers to load. So yes, I am pissed. I missed multiple Uber radars because it came in as offers for people and now I have nothing. So your phone's overheating and your apps are all getting wonky? Yep. Well, my order was picking and then I magically got here and now it's ready. So okay. 31 for 12. The last order is only five miles away, so it's not terrible. It's not bad at all. All right, good luck. Yeah, so her phone is overheating and then that's causing the apps to go wonky and then you miss orders. So that's also a problem I've had. That's why I don't really use magnet chargers anymore. Uh, but let's go check in, get loaded up and go on our way. All right, we got loaded up at 10, 11. So I don't know, 15 minutes of waiting. We'll probably get a dollar or two of wait pay out of that. Curbside is really backed up. Uh, they were slow yesterday. They were behind, didn't get all their picks done yesterday. So then it carries over into today. So then you have people who were scheduled to pick up their orders yesterday and deliveries that were supposed to go out yesterday. They're going out today on top of the ones already scheduled for today. So basically it's a royal shit show. So this will very likely be the one and only curbside order that I do today. Um, but we are nine minutes away from this customer. Let's go for stop one. Charging my phone here, that was nice and easy. Now we are on our way to stop number two. Let's go. All right, route. just leaving this place. Had to do the awkward thing because she did have on the notes, bring inside. She's a sweet elderly lady, no pets, nothing crazy in there. But it is against the terms of service for us to go inside the customer's house, even if they ask us to. So 
you know, what do you do in that situation? Do you make the customer happy? Um, or do you uphold the rules? <laughs> I chose to make the customer happy. Because technically they're supposed to pay for Walmart Plus. They're supposed to pay for the Walmart Plus service. And then, you know, then Walmart, the employees will go in with their body cams. But explaining that to somebody, it's just not worth it. So what did I do? I took the photo outside. Didn't show that I was in there, but whatever. Five minutes to the last customer on this drop. We'll be done with this drop by 1045. Kind of an awkward time for DoorDash. And based on what I've been told, we don't want to go back to curbside. So we'll uh, see what happens. But right up the street here, stop number three. Let's go. just dropped that off we got about a dollar fifty of weight pay on that and again if I've never told you how to check that what you want to do is I'll try to do it right now if you if you don't know how to check how much weight pay you have uh, let me close this window what you want to do is go to your trips tab on the bottom you want to click on the trip that you did you can see right there what the delivery pay was in this case, it was $12.43. That's what I was supposed to get paid out for this trip. So now you go to your earnings tab. Uh, you'll click on your current week earnings. You'll click on your day. You'll click on that trip. And it's quite evident here that I got paid $13.59. So it's a little convoluted. There's a lot of steps to it. But if you ever want to figure out what your weight pay is, that's the best way to do it. Um, but in the meanwhile, we did log on to DoorDash just for an hour. Um, hopefully we can extend it. Uh, we'll see if Walmart has anything else in store for us, but we got 32 bucks, which honestly, that's, uh, there's been days I haven't even made 32 bucks um, in like five or six hours as of late. So to have that out of the way is nice. Oh, we got a Duncan offer, five and a half dollars for five and a half miles. If it's not an order I'm gonna take, so. We're gonna head back. We're about four miles away from where all the good stuff is. So let's head there and see if we get something else. All right, after a shitload of waiting, we just took a small Uber Eats order, probably sat for like a half hour. Nothing really notable came up, but uh, just because if you, well, if you watched my video that I put out yesterday, my little storytelling uh, situation that I did on Uber, I said on that I want to do a bunch of Ubers, try to get some good experiences and raise my rating. Um, yeah, we're not dirty stacking after yesterday. If you want to know why I don't dirty stack, I'm not, I watched my video yesterday. But this is a seven for two-ish Wendy's. It's nothing crazy, but it's super close, super easy. Um, so hopefully we can do this quite swimmingly, quite easily and uh, hopefully she rates me five stars. So we're not doing anything. So seven for two, perfectly fine. Doesn't excite me, but it puts money in the pocket. So Wendy's is right up the corner. Let's go. All right, it was ready. 2.1 miles, uh, let's go. All right, Oobs, what do you got for me now, Mr. Ubi? Oh, I don't want to go home. It's a go home order. It's 21 bucks. You probably can't read that. 21 bucks, 17 miles. It's going home. I'm not going home right now, so we, uh, we are not doing that. And unlucky, again, you probably can't read that either, uh, but DoorDash is gray at 11.36 p.m. So that is not a good sign. Old Spocky Pants, we're only about a mile and a half away from Walmart. It is 11.36, so it is round robin time. Not that we want to do a curbside order as bad as it is right now. And we got nothing. But it is red. 
So we have that going for us, even though probably not. So we're just gonna keep staring at the map on DoorDash, wait for it to turn a color that we can log on for. Uh, Instacart, also dead. Not, not, like, not even a terrible offer. I've, usually like when Instacart's dead, it'll send you offers from like 40 miles away. Uh, not even doing that. So rip and some more rip. But I will keep you in the loop. We want to shoot for 100 bucks. We're at 40 right now, so we got a ways to go if we're going to get that goal. So we just got back to the Wally World parking lot. Just got ourselves a pizza order here. $14 for five and a half miles. So this is as good as anything we could ask for. I got homie one and homie two just sitting here doing Jack Diddley. But I'm sure they'll get 70 bucks while I'm doing this 14. So. Hey, we don't have a Little Caesars around here, but I do want one. Uh, Alyssa just went pizza, pizza. We don't have Little Caesars here, but let's go get some Papa Gino's, y'all. Y'all! Eight minutes, four miles to the customer. Should be a pretty straight shot there. I'm actually shocked that was ready. It's a pretty big order, so who knows? Maybe this will go up a couple bucks. I'm not expecting it. I don't need it because it's still a good order, but you never know. So let's go drop it off. We were right. She went on up. We ended up getting 1993 for that order. So that was fantastic. So it's basically a $20 five mile run for lunch. So I'm a happy clam. So that helps our daily total out. And we're not too far out of uh, the realm of where orders will originate from. We're like three miles out. So uh, we're gonna hike on back and see what we can get. This is turning out to be a pretty decent Monday so far. I don't know if you guys ever get these like package delivery offers on Uber, but my God, who in their right mind? Like how, who, what, who, when, why, and how? $35, which I'm 97% certain that's like the highest you'll ever see on an Uber Eats order. I think they cap out at 35. Um, so that's as high as Uber is going to pay for it. To go 60 miles? Like, come on! It's just absolutely, like, I don't even see how that could be legal to offer that. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And well, here, speaking of crazy crap on Uber, here is $12 for 19 miles. I mean, mind you, I'm three miles from Walmart, but still, that's $12 for like 15, 16 miles. Like, Uber, you drunk, bro. And to think I'm trying to do more orders for you to get my rating higher, and this is the crap you're gonna give me, but whatevs, just had to get that little blurb in there. All right, back to Walmart after that last uh, pizza delivery. And since then, we have gotten ourselves, I'm not sure how well this picks up on the camera, but we actually have a thunderstorm now. Um, I just heard a pretty loud bang of thunder. So that probably means they're gonna close curbside because uh, Walmart does close curbside uh, when there are thunderstorms. So that'll be interesting. Uh, and given that we're not taking this wishy-wash DoorDash order seven for five, I'm not taking that in a thunderstorm. No, thank you. So now I'm gonna be a little extra picky because if I'm gonna get out of my car and risk my life over 25 million volt lightning bolts, um, it has to be worth my time. So it's 12.15, uh, it says one to five minutes, so that's as good as I'll see in a long time. So let's see if something's worth getting out in the rain for. It is lightning and thunder every 15 seconds. There's been a couple decent orders. I don't mind working in rain, but lightning is a different story um it's got to be really damn good to get me out of this car now uh, but from this angle over here it's still blue sky 
So I really don't get how this, I, I don't get this, but once it stops lightning and thundering every t minute, I'll start taking orders again, but there's a lot of orders coming up from far away. There's a McDonald's like three miles from here. I usually don't get McDonald's orders out here. So clearly a lot of people are declining orders now. So maybe this will be advantageous for us with a little bit of surge pay, but still waiting. And uh, hopefully this weather clears out. All right, I think the precipitation has ceased enough to where I feel comfortable uh, heading out into the wild. So we just took an order. I missed the screenshot because I suck. Uh, 7.25 for like three miles, uh, three quarters of a mile of that is just driving through the plaza to the store and then probably two and a half miles to the customer. So it won't put me too far out of the zone. Hoping for an add-on because it's pretty busy now. So I'm hoping for an add-on, but maybe it's a priority order and I won't get one, but it's Bertucci's, it's a Italian chain. The rain has stopped. I still see some, I still hear some rumbles of thunder, but nothing that overly concerns me. So let's get back at it, get back at it and start making some more money. All right, back in the car and news flash, it's still thundering, but it's not lightning. Uh, and that's my biggest concern uh, is I don't want the lightning, but I can deal with the thunder. In fact, Apple Maps is telling me to watch out for severe weather, but whatever. When $7 is on the line, you put your life in, on the risk or whatever English makes sense. All right, let's go. Say, I've never seen a house this color before. Um, super sweet lady said, please be careful. Um, you know, don't get yourself struck by lightning. And I kind of laughed and said, I will try not to, but no promises. It's so crazy. I'm about a mile and a half, two miles from Walmart right now, where it was just monsooning. This, the, the ground here is dry. So it literally did not even rain. The, the rain line was that small. New England weather, they say if you want to wait for it to change, then just blink your eyes. It's just crazy. But. All right, so we got ourselves a $20 Walmart Uber that I have basically zero expectation of actually getting. And they want me to take a $13 add on for eight miles. Absolutely not. Um, I don't even think we're going to get this because it is thundering and stuff, but you know, we're not doing anything else. It's only three of us, three some odd miles from here, so. But we're already at Walmart. We're uh, gonna go try and find our loader buddy and get the scoop if this is actually ready. If it's not, we'll carry on with our day. About a 15 minute wait. To the route. Oh, then shit. turn right onto Colony Village. Why do I turn the maps on when I know where I'm going as soon as I'm about to talk? I don't know. Turn uh, right onto Colony Village. Are you done? Uh, yeah, you are done, so I'm gonna mute you. Uh, so 15 minutes, we got that order. We turned down a ton of door dashes. So hopefully there's still some for us when we're finished with this. Uh, my buddies haven't moved, so I don't think there's anything great in Spark World, but we'll, uh, we'll keep this rolling. This will put us close. I think this will put us in the 80s. So we'd only need about another 20 bucks and I can hit my $100 goal. So really, really, Cautiously optimistic we'll get there. I started at 10 ish 9 30 10. So if I can get that by two, it's still $20 an hour. I mean, it's not the best day in the world, but I'll take what you can get. So, so let's go drop this off. I already forget what it was, but it was almost 20 bucks. So let's go get it. that 1947 so even though it took a little longer than we'd like still um let's see what's the actual duration 23 minutes for the whole time so can't complain about that <laughs> 
Okay. Straight. So we got ourselves a DoorDash order for some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, Using the left lane turn. Oh, left I know on Court Street. Uber. I know how to get to KFC. I, I'm of the heritage that loves KFC. Um, yeah, 1050. This is a, what we also call a magic number on Uber because it's usually right at an eight dollar tip. Oh, this this has a potential to go up um, because this is a huge ass order here. Uh, they got a 16 piece meal, an eight piece chicken bucket, and then 36 nuggets. So this has a strong potential to go up. This is all but a catering order. So, uh, and it's not going that far because KFC, I'm two miles from KFC. And what did that come up as? Came up as 2.7. So it's gonna be less than a mile from KFC. So, and worst case, if they cancel the order, then I get a ton of free chicken. So <laughs> of course that, that's never happened to me. I've always wanted an order to cancel on me while I already had it. So that way I could get the free stuff. I mean, it's happened to most everybody. Whatever, we're almost at KFC already, so uh, let's go get it. All right, so the problem with taking KFC orders is that they are the most delicious orders they are the most nauseatingly amazing orders. They smell just, you know. So now I'm going back to KFC to get myself lunch. And we'll see what happens. It's almost two. If that goes through, that's 90 bucks. If it goes up, you know, we're getting closer and closer to our target for the day. But let's see if we'll get there. Uh, let's go feed ourselves first and then we'll see what happens next. Nope, we're being good. We're being responsible. I just drove past KFC. I didn't pull in there because I didn't want to spend $14 on fast food. So I held the urge. I'm still starving, but we have plenty of food at home. See, I can be a good boy. It's hard, but I can be a good boy. All right, I forgot to screenshot again because I suck. Uh, but we have a restaurant. Head to your pickup at 110 Grill Plymouth. Well, that's where we're going. We're going to 110 Grill, which is a mid-high-end restaurant here, which is right across the street. It showed up as $10 for one mile. Um, this order is also seven items. So I will bet a significant amount of money that this will go up by something. And uh, we're still waiting for that KFC tip to post. Just ahead, turn left on Collins Oh, I know place. where I'm going, chill Uber lady. So this is like, I'm gonna call this like Uber karma. Like I got bit yesterday and Uber is being pretty nice to me today. So yeah, we're gonna go across the street. We're probably gonna have to wait for this, which I'm fully fine with, but um, it's kind of a weird time too for an Uber order, for a lunch order, but whatever. Uh, we'll probably do this and head on home, but uh, I'll take you with me to 110 and we'll get our order and I'll probably have to do a little edit later on and tell you what the tip goes to because you know we have to wait for an hour, but either way, let's actually, do I even need to say let's go? Um, I really don't think I need to say let's go because we're already here basically. I just have to go across the highway right here, the, well, across the intersection, because if you see right through the trees, uh, no, you can't see it from here. So I will continue with my B-roll. Let's go. All right, my God, I feel like I need to go back there for dinner because that bartender is like the sweetest girl I've ever met. She is like so genuinely just you can tell when someone's nice and when someone's fake nice. Believe me, I know all about fake nice, but this girl turn is right. genuine. Then turn right. Um, yeah, the second time my catering bag has been needed today uh, for actual food purposes and not just for carrying groceries and stuff. So, funnily enough, we still haven't done a shop today and I don't think we will. So, either way, we are literally about 45 seconds away from this address and let's go and drop it off and we're gonna have to play the waiting game and see if any of these orders go up all right just drop that off there was like a couple people at the door again this is a very busy building so kind of awkward to bring a camera in there uh but our kfc order came in and it went up to 1754 so thank you uh alexandra i think your name was for that uh 15 tip 
and now we will await this one uh, I can't get a came in as 10 so even if it was 10 it was worth it at 10 but I have a vibe it's gonna be a lot more than that I made mean, a lot more but something more but that puts us at well we're gonna how am I gonna do this because I don't know what my final total is till this comes in but um, we are going to jump cut and I'll probably add a little segment in later with the final totals. So, uh, let's just, uh, hi, I'm back. It's a different day, different shirt, different everything, uh, different place. Uh, but our final total that day was $120 and 27 cents. We did have a spark tip go up, which is really cool. Put that right here. Went up from like 18 and change to 22 on that tip. So thank you to those customers. Uh, those Uber magic numbers. So one of them, like I said, was 13 uh, on our last one. So I didn't get to tell you that. And then the other one, the KFC was 17. But yeah, the magic numbers, if I didn't describe that, whenever you see an Uber order between 10 and $11, always pay attention, especially if they're like mid-low miles. Uber has a propensity to hide tips above $8. And we know the base pays are going to be between 2 and 3 So if you see orders 10 11 maybe even low 12s if the miles are long i'm not gonna say take them every time but pay attention to them if you do accept it if you see the item count is higher there's a pretty good probability it's gonna go up um, i've noticed that over time uh, nothing is a guarantee sometimes they'll stay exactly as is and that's fine you still take it at surface value um, but there's a high probability that your tip will go up if it's over eight dollars on uber doordash has its own different systems but either way that's where we were at pretty decent for a monday especially given how things have been i do want to thank everyone for tuning in make sure you like share comment subscribe we are growing this slowly but we're having fun doing it and let's see if we can bring some more friends along for the ride this is cruising with Corey. Corey out